Hello everyone, my name is Seema and welcome to this video. What are we discussing today? The topic for today's discussion is it doesn't matter who or what is given to you but what matters most is how you accept it. Your attitude will determine how the thing you took will help you in your life. So in the old days, there were uh, sages, especially in India, uh, because I know of that country, where the, the, the monks and the sages would come around asking for, for food. And what people gave them was not the best thing or the freshly cooked thing that they had made, but leftovers from a day old, from a, few hour, from a few hours old. And they wouldn't get the choice of food that they like. So if somebody liked eggplant, they wouldn't get that. They would get whatever leftovers, however much in quantity, the uh, the person who was giving them had but it was their attitude with what with which they accepted they were grateful for what was given and so what they received actually gave them health and never caused any problem and they didn't live like this for a day or two they lived their entire life like that so same thing happens in our lives too we might not be asking for food, but we might be asking for maybe love, maybe acceptance, maybe something else. And how it comes to us is not in our hand. Things may not look right when they are delivered to us. Things may have a lot of weight around them that we are not interested to carry. A lot of negativity sometimes that are, is attached to this and this being. But it is how we accept the opportunity, the presence of someone that can change its impact on us. So I'm not saying that if a thief comes in your house, you should open all your doors and say, oh, well, you can go take what you want. I'm safe. Nothing's going to happen to me. No, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if your heart guides you into a situation that has some ifs and buts, try to take away and not worry about the buts so much the ifs and buts, but go along, go with the flow and hope that the best will come out of it. And see for yourself, give yourself one opportunity, another opportunity and see how things shape up. It's again, your attitude, your gratitude, your willingness to be open, to be vulnerable, that can change things for you. Because when we try to control things, we really cannot do it. We'll be very unhappy. We cannot control anything. It actually, the outcome could be worse than what we were expecting. So why not be open? Be open, go with the flow. You see how the oceans when the, when the river flows, right, and you have rocks um, be between them, it's the river that carves the path with the easily flowing through the rocks and shapes the rocks also, right? Why can we not do that? Why can we not be accepting of how life will shape up? And again, controlling only how our attitude on receiving the thing, not how is delivered to us. Let the universe decide that for you.
let the universe figure out all the intricacy intricate details behind it you just worry about how you're going to receive it are you going to be grateful for it are you going to hope that this is exactly what you were looking for and this person actually starts to mold into the likes and dislikes of what you actually wanted and starts to manifest your desire it's again just your your perception of how good the thing can be and tell me who's happy in life the one who's always finding faults or the one who's always accepting and more welcoming of change of newer things of trying things even if one thing doesn't work out so what the rest of the things did and most of the time it can have a very positive impact on our life this is a very deep topic try it for yourself and see how things start to change don't hold yourself back be open Hope the best and the best will come out. Thanks for watching.